create some strategies or can you speak on some strategies that people can use when dating? Yeah, for sure. Um, first thing I would say is, uh, is learn how to date. And the best way to learn how to date is to date yourself, right? Find out the things that you actually like. Um, get that out the way, you know, so you can actually uh, share that and, and, and eliminate a lot of steps of who may not be a good um, fit for you. Right. Uh, the second thing uh, that I would say is uh, actually date and, and be open to dating. You know, um, there's a lot of trauma. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of drama. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we can't we can't get stuck. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't get stuck with that because every person is not the exact same. Right. So we have to be willing and open minded, you know, to meet somebody new. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the biggest thing I run into. Nobody wants to start fresh mm -hmm. with anyone. But you're going to look up and spend 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And then, again, you're going to create your own clock without um, being able to actually create your own space, your safe space. And that leads into the, uh, the third thing is create a safe space to have a conversation with a therapist. Mm. I had to come back to that. Therapies saving people. It, <laughs> And, uh, and, and you know what? One thing that I truly believe, we're at the point where therapists need therapists. <laughs> right? That's, that's what's going on, right? <laughs> so that, that is the importance Facts. of therapy at this damn juncture in life. <laughs> right. Right? So, uh, and just kind of pay attention to your surroundings. Yeah. You know, pay attention to, to your surroundings, uh, your influences, um, even to the point to where get a dating coach mm -hmm. like Rob Malloy. Ah, right. Come through, Rob. All right. Get a dating coach because uh, my, my uh, goal is not to really put women or put men on game, but to really give them a reality check of what's going on. So I don't consider myself a guru. I consider myself a relationship realist. Mm. Right. Because not only am I going to give you what's happening uh, and what I'm hearing, but I'm going to give you personal experience. And I think that separates me from gurus and experts and therapists because it may be, uh, you know, against policy for them to share their personal experience. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to let you know, though. Give me some coaching advice. Coach yeah. me, coach. Yeah, yeah. What do I sure. need to do? <laughs> <laughs> Not me personally. I'm sorry, guys. Give coaching advice. Right. These women are looking for high value men. Yeah. And these men are looking for high value women. Yeah. Can you give some advice? Yeah. So, um, again, I think that there is an identity crisis, first and foremost, because they may think that they're high value. Right. But but that may not be the case. Right. So you really have to 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 identify who you are and and, and know that there's room for growth. And that's the only reason why I say that. Because people think that they already have it together and, they're, and the entitlement is real, mm -hmm. right? And that's men and women. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the first thing is identify, um, you know, who you are and what you want, what you desire. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really going to open up. Uh, <laughs> it's going to open up your pool, mm -hmm. right? It's going to open up your dating pool uh, when you do that. Because, uh, you know, again, uh, there's a lot of people that, that are dating the same person Ooh. in a different body over and over and over. <laughs> they're dating the same person and they're wondering what's wrong. What's happening? And it's not the people. That's who you're attracting. It's who you are. If if you're stuck on level three, why do you think you're going to meet somebody on level four? Get off the damn elevator. <laughs> right? So I think that that's, that's, that's key. That's key. That's key more than anything. Right? And, and you know... And I'll, I'll just finish with this, since since you're making that face. Uh, I'll fin I'll, I'll, I'll fi speak I'll, a lot without words. <laughs> I'll, I'll finish with this. If, if you think about um, when a person tells you the type of people that they've been dating or entertaining, that, that says a lot of, of their bandwidth. You know, uh, for instance, there's women that are looking for high-valued men. I know that that term is a buzzword right now. I like to consider it a high caliber person. That, mm -hmm. To me, that makes a little bit more sense because you can look and see, you know what? I ain't got no business with that person right now. Mm -hmm. Like you should be able to say that. Mm -hmm. 
You know, men been saying it for years. I'd be damned if women can't say that. Like, you know, you ain't got no business with that man. Mm -hmm. You know, how you're not aligned with him. Mm. Right. So you have to look at that. People just say, hey, well, we look good together. Mm -hmm. I got money. They got money. But you haven't even talked about the emotional and spiritual mm. point. Mm. So that's why when you get together and, and, and it's not working out besides the physical part, you guys are unequally yoked from a spiritual and emotional standpoint. You know, somebody's not willing to deal with certain things. And a person over here is actually in the healing process because we're constantly healing. If somebody, if a woman tells me, you know what, I'm healed, I'm ready to date, I won't date her. Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment. You never know what I might be in the comments. And also, thank you guys for continuing to watch.